welcome back all you trig lovers. Um, tonight's topic is called reference angles and hopefully this is a mission that's not impossible for you. So what is a reference angle and how do we find one? First of all we want you to write down two definitions here. A reference angle has to be a positive acute angle and let's quickly review that word acute. Acute means you're an angle less than 90 degrees. Okay, so you know what a right angle looks like. We have to be smaller than a right angle, less than 90 degrees. And the second way, this is probably how we'd say we'd find it. Basically, you want to find the degrees of separation with the x-axis. Now, I can't stress enough. Bold this word x-axis. Circle it. Do something. Star it. Highlight it. We are strictly talking the x-axis. Never, ever the y-axis. Degrees of separation with the x-axis. Reference angles can appear in all four quadrants. So we're going to take some time out and draw a picture of each of the four quadrants and what the reference angle looks like. So you should have four perfectly sketched quadrants in your notebook here. So label this quadrant one, and I do want to go around and put our degrees on, of course. So we've got zero. Remember, this makes a right angle, so that's 90. I have two right angles for 180 degrees. Three right angles makes 270. And then again, of course, back to 360 degrees. Okay. Now, in quadrant one, when you draw your angle, um, let's just recall, remember this is your initial side, I'm putting it in purple, and I'm going to go over this side in green or aqua here, that's my terminal side, so I just want to recall, terminal, and initial side there. When this angle already is in quadrant one, let's make a note, you are your own reference angle. The degrees of separation with the x-axis are 60 degrees. Okay, How far are you from the y-axis? That's all I'm looking for. So on paper, I would say r for reference angle, r theta, equals 60 degrees. How far are you from the x-axis? All right, go ahead and, and pause it, make a perfect sketch of this, and then let's talk about it. All right, clearly I am in quadrant two, and again, I want to label 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Okay, so my terminal side, you can see, is sitting in quadrant two, and I've got two angles. This big angle that I made to get that is 120 degrees, and it was a positive, so I went counterclockwise, but that's not my reference angle. My reference angle is degrees of separation with the x-axis. How far is this from the x-axis? Well, you could say it's 120 this way, or 60 degrees this way. And remember, you have to be the positive acute. Your number has to be less than 90. So I'm going to say my reference angle is 60 degrees. Okay, I'm going to pick the one less than 90, and I'm always going to the x-axis. Let me give you a second way to think about it. Basically, the x-axis is 180 degrees. So to get anything in quadrant 2, I would just take 180 degrees and subtract my theta. In this case, my theta was 120. So I have 180 minus 120 gets me an angle of 60 degrees, which would be my reference angle. All right, my third example is in quadrant three. So again, make a new sketch, pause it, and then compare with me. All right, this time my angle is sitting in quadrant three. Okay, and the question is, how far are you from the x-axis? So again, to get this x-axis, I went a positive 120, but I would say I'm only 60 degrees from the x-axis. Now, how did I get that? Well, basically, I took my theta and subtracted 180 degrees. So I said 240 minus 180 gets me a reference angle of 60 degrees. Okay, so remember, degrees of separation with the x-axis. All right, my last quick sketch um, is in quadrant four. And notice I graphed an angle of 315 degrees. So I went positive 315, which puts me in quadrant four. Now, 315 can't be my reference angle. It's not positive and acute. So basically, I'm saying, how far am I from the x-axis? Okay, so this time I would say, okay, I would take my whole circle 360 and subtract my 315, and that would get me a reference angle of 45 degrees. 
So I can't stress enough, you're always saying, how far am I from the x-axis? And you're just going to make a quick sketch and, you know, either add 180, subtract 180, or subtract from 360. All right, before we dive into any examples, I want to make a quick summary of what we just talked about. Okay, a reference angle is your degrees of separation with the x-axis. And remember, it has to be positive and acute. We're looking for two things, separation from the x-axis and positive and acute. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a reference angle in each quadrant. Quadrant 1 looks like this, and I want you to put an r theta there. In quadrant 2, my reference angle, again, I'm going to the x-axis. Quadrant 3, again, always go to the x-axis. And quadrant 4, same idea, to the x-axis. All right, so your reference angle should always be touching the x-axis. All right, now there's a little math you can memorize, or hopefully it's a little common sense. In quadrant 1, you're your own reference angle. You don't have to do anything fancy. In quadrant 2, to get this angle that I'm going to shade in orange here, I basically would take this line, 180 degrees, and subtract theta. In quadrant 3, to get this angle in here, I would do the opposite. I would take the whole angle and subtract 180 degrees. And in quadrant 4, the x-axis has nothing to do with 180 now. Notice 180 is on this side, so it's for these two quadrants. This time I'm dealing with this line, which is 360. So I would take 360 and subtract theta, and that would get me my reference angle. So it kind of, you know, looks like a bow tie almost, and we're only talking about 180 on this side, 360 on this side, and this time you're on your own reference angle. So let's try a few quick examples. Here are the directions. Sketch the angle and state the reference angle. Number one, the sine of 125 degrees. Okay, so the first part was sketch the angle, so make a quick sketch of 125. I've got my 0, 90, 180, 270, back to 360. 125 is clearly between 90 and 180. Okay, so initial side, terminal side, put your angle in. Okay, so that was the first part. And now it says state the reference angle. So the question is, how far are you from the x-axis? Well, you can't use 125 because even though it's positive, it's not acute. So you need to go this way to the x-axis. And I'm going to put a big x in there. I need to find that angle. Well, if I wanted that angle, the whole line is 180, and this piece is 125, so I would just subtract. 180 minus 125 leaves me with a reference angle of 75 degrees. And that's all we're looking for. Reference angle equals 75 degrees. Let's try another one. Tangent of 250 degrees. So 0, 90, 180, 270, back to 360. Okay, 250 is going to fall between 180 and 270. So again, get your initial side, terminal side, throw some arrows there, label your angle. Theta equals 250, so that's what we did that second day in trig. And now you need your reference angle. How far are you from the x-axis? Okay, so if I wanted to go from my terminal side to the x-axis, hopefully you're shading in this section, I'd be looking for this piece. Okay, now just ask yourself, how would you get that? Well, if you know this whole thing is 250, and you know this line is 180, hopefully you're saying just take 250 and subtract 180. And I've got a nice angle of 70 degrees Oops, equals my reference angle. All right, let's try one in radians. The sine of 5 pi over 3. So I'm still going to go 0, 90, 180, 270, back to 360. And it's probably easier if you convert this to degrees. And we talked about that last week. So if I want to convert to degrees, here's what I say to myself. If I want degrees, then I'm going to put the degree on top. Whatever you want goes on top. So I'm going to say that's 180 over pi. All right, so convert to degrees, put your 180 on top. And now let's go ahead and clean up. My pi's are going to cancel. Um, I'm going to reduce this. 3 goes into 18 six times. I'm going to leave my 0. 60 times 5 is 300. 
so I get 300 degrees. And I think it's probably easier to graph in degrees than it is radians as of now. So I'm just going to graph 300 degrees, which is in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so I'm going this way, 300. Now remember, your reference angle is how far you are from the x-axis. So you could be thinking you could go this way, but that's not an acute angle. So remember, we want the acute angle. I'm going to put my x in here. How far is that from the x-axis? Well, all the way around would be 360, and I know I went 300. So I would say I'm 60 degrees from the x-axis would be my reference angle. Now we're going to take it one extra step. Since they gave me the answer in radians, okay, 5 pi over 3 is a radian, I'm going to convert my answer back to radians. So if they give it to you in degrees, keep it in degrees. If they give it to you in radians, you got to give it back in radians. So pretty simple, like again, we reviewed the other day. If I want 60 degrees in radians, I say to myself, whatever I want goes on top. I want a radian, so it's going to be pi over 180. And again, I think it's easier if you see all fractions. And I'm just going to reduce. A 0 on top can cancel with that 0 on the bottom. 6 goes into 18 three times. So I would say that 60 degrees is really pi over 3 radians. And I would say that would be my final answer. That's a reference angle of pi over 3. All right, cosecant of 5 pi over 4. So again, I'm going to take the time to convert to degrees because that's easier. So I've got my 5 pi over 4. Hopefully you're, you're, you're a step ahead of me in doing this on your own. If I want degrees, I put my degrees on top. 180 over pi. Uh, I can cancel my pi's. Uh, 4 goes into 18. 4 times, remainder of 20, so that's 45. 5 times 45 gets me 225. So I'm really graphing 225 degrees. So if I throw my degrees on there, maybe you know those by now and don't have to write them every time. 225 falls between 180 and 270. So initial side, terminal side, put my arc in there. That's 225 degrees. Um, my reference angle is how far I am from the x-axis, degrees of separation with the x-axis. So if that whole angle was 225 and I subtract my 180, I should get a reference angle of 45 degrees. So I'm going to make a note reference, whoops, angle equals 45 degrees. Now, don't forget, if they give it to you in radians, let's put our answer back in radians. So now I'm going to take 45 degrees, and to turn that to radians, I'm going to multiply, I want radians, so now I want my pi on top, over 180. So to clean that up, I can say, I can put that over 1 if I want, 45 goes into 180, I would say 4 times. So I've got a reference angle of pi over 4. All right, the sine of negative 220 degrees. We're going to sketch and state its reference angle. Now, we haven't done a negative one in a little while, so let's just review. I've got my 0, 90, 180, 270. Those are staying in the same order. What's negative is the angle. So instead of going counterclockwise, this is just telling me to go clockwise. Okay, so I'm going to go 220 degrees, but instead of going to the left, I'm going to the right. So from here to here is a right angle. That would be 90. Here's another right angle, that would be 180. If I want the third right angle, that would be 270, and that's too much. So I know I'm going to end up in the second quadrant. And I'm going to mark an angle of negative 220 degrees. All right, so to get my reference angle, that is your degrees of separation with the x-axis. So remember, you want to be positive and acute, so I'm finding this angle in here. How far am I from the x-axis? Well, I would take... In my head, I would say that's 220 degrees minus 180. And that looks like a reference angle of 40 degrees. Now, notice I'm not saying negative 40 degrees. If you look back to our definition, it had to be a positive acute angle. So even though we went negative 220 to begin with, I'm still 40 degrees away from the x-axis. Okay, I always want to make sure I give a positive acute angle. 
Well, I think that does it for us tonight. Um, come with some great notes and any questions that you may have. And just remember that reference angle is a positive acute angle and how far you are from the x-axis. Have a great night.